One of the requirements for managing protected data is the identification of all files that contain protected information. The assertions made by the creators of the files cannot be trusted. There are multiple types of protected data that may be managed within a data collection. Proprietary data contains information that is subject to intellectual property rights. An assertion is made by the owner of the data that unauthorized access should be prohibited. This is managed through explicit access controls. Private data contain information that must be redacted before the file can be shared. There are three main types. Personally identifiable information, PII, contains information such as birth dates and social security numbers. Payment card industry information, PCI, contains credit card numbers. Protected health information, PHI, contains medical records and the patient name. Regulated data sets contain information associated with legal records. Examples include FERPA, Family Educational Rights and Privacy, which states student records are private, and Sarbanes-Oxley, which states that retention and disposition policies have to be uniformly applied. Policies for managing protected data can be identified based on the tasks required of a system administrators for a secure environment. In Chapter 6 of the Policy Examples Workbook, the System Administrator's Guide for UNC was analyzed to extract a list of tasks. More than 50 tasks were identified that could be automated through the use of policies. The policies included enforcing required controls and automation of procedures. The categories included check for protected data within files and viruses within files, encrypt data during transfer and in storage, manage federation copies of the data, generate access reports, list storage systems used, maintain logs of all system updates, parse event trails for unauthorized access, provide test systems, replicate files, set access and control flags based on access approval flags, verify assessment criteria. The analysis of a data file to detect protected data could look for multiple types of information. Each type of information may require a different analysis algorithm to identify the presence. The analysis of protected information may require significant compute resources. Analysis algorithms exist for credit card numbers, email addresses, birth dates, social security numbers, GPS map coordinates, telephone numbers. The Odom Institute manages the preservation of social science surveys, which may contain protected data. The initial approach has been to have the depositor certify that the data do not contain protected information. Invariably, data sets are found where protected information was overlooked and the deposited data has to be redacted or removed from the archive. If there is no protected information, the data sets can be made public and shared with other researchers. The second approach is to scan the data automatically on deposition to detect the presence of protected information. The BitCurator tool does this. The process requires knowledge of the data format, the design of algorithms to detect each type of information, and the automation of the detection procedure through use of policies. Examples of such policies are av available in Chapter 5.8 of the Policy Examples Workbook. Take seven minutes to complete exercise 77. Create a file that contains protected information and load it into your collection. Examples are email addresses and birth dates. What additional types of protected data might be in your collection? Please load a paragraph describing your result into the Lifetime Library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class.